when I was first learning how to do PFTs, I noticed that all the experts in the field, like Greg Rupel and Jack Wanger, all had their RPFT credentials. So I just thought, you know, if I want to achieve clinical excellence, I need to follow their path and model what they did. And it certainly was the right decision because that really set me off on a path that brought me to a place where I achieved more than I ever thought possible. So respiratory therapists should earn a specialty credential because to me it, it demonstrates that they are eager to push the boundaries of their practice and uh, practice at the, the limits of their licensure. So the value of having your, your NBRC PFT credential is that firstly it shows a commitment to your patients and as someone who hires technologists I look for that and it's mandatory in our laboratory. So the value that the specialty credential provider brings is again they, they have an extra layer of knowledge, generally an extra layer of competence. I know that they have the knowledge uh, to interpret data, manage patients. You know, again, I'm involved in the PFT lab at my hospital and also in the sleep lab at my hospital. And again, we have respiratory therapists in the PFT lab, we have respiratory therapists in the sleep lab, they're all specialty credentialed. Um, and again, I expect a better product and I know generally that I'm going to get a better product from that specialty credential provider. It's not about seeing your name in lights, it's about affecting the care in a positive way of patients you'll never meet in places you'll never go.